Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Nugget wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 75, NASDAQ up 44, S&P's up 8, gold contract up $6.60, traded at 1,263 an ounce. Silver up 15 cents at $17.63 an ounce. Platinum up 7 bucks at 9.44 an ounce. Copper flat at 2.10 a pound. Light sweet crude up 35 cents, trading at $50.72 a barrel. Notes, the 10-year note up 6 ticks, 130.10, 30-year bond up 15 ticks, 164.13. King dollar, king dollar up 22 ticks, 97.90. The euro is trading at $1.09 and the yen is at 103.85. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay. SPY, 72 million shares. Yesterday, you go downtown with 58. It was going into 101. No volume on the way down. We had light volume on the way up, but guess what? The SPY is at 213.67. SPY is going to make its way or try to make its way up to the 217.03, which is the downdraft from September 9th. Dow Industrials, same type of setup. Dow Industrials out here, we up 75 bucks. You're at 18,161, and I expect what you're going to see is going to try to get into 18,404. NDX 100 and the NASDAQ composite, different animals. I think both of them are going to go for the highs. We'll see whether it can make the highs. Uh, 48.39 is where we are right now, and the high in the NDX 100 is 49.04. Uh, Intel came out with numbers. Intel closed at uh, 37.75. It's trading 36.30, not the end of the world for Intel. Uh, we'll go through the numbers, but that's still, it's off a buck, but it's really hanging at its highs. Uh, NASDAQ Composite, same setup in the NASDAQ Composite. What you have with the composite? The composite's uh, trading at 52.43. The high that I suspect it's going to go for is the 53.40. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here today, folks, had a low of $1,255, a high of $1,263. You've done 141,000 contracts. Uh, gold's building cause to get back inside the downdraft from October 4th. That downdraft is 1269 uh, you get gold back inside that, that would send gold up into 1310, 1305 to 1310. That's where it broke down from on October 4th. Silver, exact same setup inside the silver market. What you have is this, uh, silver, up, silver out here, silver is up 16 cents. You're trading at $17.63. And cents. Uh, silver, silver out here is... Building cars to get into seventeen dollars and seventy-four cents. Bonds, the ten-year bond, the ten-year note, rather, uh, ten-year note out here, uh, going to be pretty wild. So the ten-year note, folks, got under its swing point from October thirteenth. That swing point was one twenty-nine twenty-six. It went back inside it last Wednesday. Guess what? Ten-year now wants to make a run for 131.23. And what that says, that says higher price, lower yield. Hard to believe, but guess what? That's what the market's doing. Inside the 30 year, we're right at it. It looks to me like the 30 year is going to go for it tomorrow. So it's going to be interesting watching this shake out. The 30 year right now is at 164.13. And that's the exact number, the 164.13, that once it's inside of that, that sets up that the 30, it can get up to 170.01. Now, King Dollar. King Dollar has had, had some nice volatility out here today. Uh, King Dollar is trading over its July swing high 
Uh, that swing high is 97,610. Uh, we got down to 97,600 today and rejected it. Uh, we've only done 16,000 contracts. So bottom line is that good old uh, King Dollar looks to me like it's tr trying to get back inside of 97,610. You know, we'll see whether it can make it or break it, if it can get inside there. Uh, ISRG, Intuitive Surgical, just come out with numbers. Intuitive Surgical closed at, uh, well, I think they might have. Let's see. 721. Let's see if they come out. Yeah, they come out. Okay, so it's un what's unusual is it's trading at the exact same price. Uh, Intuitive Surgical closed at uh, 721.73. It's trading at 721. Now, for a cycle stock, that is uh, very unusual. Um, Yahoo. Yahoo just uh, come out with numbers also. Yahoo closed at uh, $41.68. That also is trading at uh, $41.76. Cree. Cree come out with numbers. Cree closed at uh, $25.20. That's trading at $24.00. Uh, let's go back to Intel for a second. So Intel, Intel closed at 37.75. That's trading at 36.16. And numbers on Intel, the estimate was 67 cents. They made 69. Their profit, uh, operating profit, the estimate was uh, 4.6 million. They made 5.1 million. Evidently, the market's looking for more. Their uh, they're taking a $1.8 billion restructuring charge. Man, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a decent uh, restructuring charge, no doubt, right? No doubt about that. Uh, Market-wise, so what you're looking at is this. Uh, bottom line, these highs that have been out here are inside the uh, NDX 100 as well as the uh, NASDAQ composite, I expect they're going to get hit. Uh, Intel uh, you know, is, is going to be light. That's down a buck. That would uh, affect the NDX 100 as well as the um, Dow Industrials. Uh, the futures right now, the NQs, what the NQs did, the NQs went from a price point of uh, 48.33 to 48.24, uh, but bottom line, even at 48.24, you're still up by uh, $21. And what you will see, uh, I suspect, is that S I S R G as we go through... Uh, the next uh, 15, 20 minutes, uh, there she goes already, yeah. Intuitive Surgical is going to basically stop pumping some blood into the NDX 100. It's up $7 right now. This stock, folks, I've seen this stock go up and down over $25 in the next in 10 minutes after it comes out with numbers. I, do, I, I wouldn't be trading it, but it is a cycle stock. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrial is up 75. NASDAQ up 44. S&P's up 9. We're going to be right back.